is Alan and I'm one of the uh, educators for uh, a tri New Zealand and this is my first uh, webinar so <laughs> please uh, uh, bear with me. If I'm not able to do a good job, I'll try to do a better one next time. So today I'll be talking about uh, uh, pulse prevention. So I think you can define the pulse as a going down from one level to another involuntarily. You know, even if let's say you stand up, you suddenly go down to a chair or a, uh, a bed, that could actually be considered as a, a pole. And poles are actually, it has a big impact on our country, you know, in our society and in our uh, healthcare system. Uh, I think uh, annually ACC has more than uh, 200,000 uh, uh, claims that they accept you know, uh, because of uh, polls. Uh, April is actually, you know, considered a, a, a polls prevention month, which started in uh, 2013. And each year, I think they, they had a team for th uh, that year. I think the first one in 2013 was uh, polls prevention is everyone's business and uh, polls hurt. Uh, I think the, the catchy one, I remember in 2017, it was uh, stand up to polls in the 2018 one, it was a live stronger or longer. And I'll try and talk more about, you know, that theme, you know, at the last uh, part of this uh, presentation. So uh, it's, we having worked in healthcare, actually, I mean, uh, post assessment is always uh, important when we receive a patient. You, for some people who has gone to the hospital, they have been assessed for uh, post prevention because it's quite uh, an, an important aspect of care, uh, certainly. So the problem with you know, pulse is uh, pulse reduce the quality of life uh, for people, uh, especially for older people. I'll try to mainly focus on you know, uh, for older people. I'm not saying that uh, younger people don't have pulse. You know, I have you know, two young kids and I'm a witness you know, younger people having pulse now and again. It's just that when you're younger and when you have pulse, um, the consequences might not be, you know, minimal, you know, or your recovery time is much quicker compared to someone who's older, who has a pulse and breaks, you know, uh, uh, a hip, you know, and that could be life changing. Many of us actually know someone that actually had a pulse and, you know, again, uh, what the, there's changes in their lifestyle and uh, mostly not good, unfortunately. So uh, you have this loss of independence, uh, certainly loss of mobility for people with had pulse. Uh, for people who are older and they have a pole uh, and break a hip, 50% uh, of them might actually need uh, support, you know, for walking or activities of daily living. Uh, around uh, 10 to 20 percent would actually need to go to a residential health care and around 27 percent unfortunately would pass away within you know a year or two so it's certainly worth you know uh, thinking about how to improve you know that statistics you know uh, the chances of someone above 65 having a poll is uh, one out of uh, three a year and for people above 80 it's one out of two so uh, the considerable, it's actually a considerable cost to our health healthcare system. Uh, uh, Pulse actually are the most common form of uh, injury and the costliest for actually uh, older persons. Uh, the government in 2016 spent like 163 million for uh, because of Pulse for people above uh, 65. And if you add up the whole, uh, uh, monetary aspect of it for people who have polls, you know, in all ages, it's probably costing the government around, you know, half a billion dollars. And so it's really quite a big number. Certainly, you know, you also have that loss of income for people that have polls or loss of income for people who actually have to take care of, you know, the person that's, you know, having that poll because they need the help. So one thing here is, is why do people with the have an increased chance of having a pulse? So 
um, there was a study I remember reading that if you have one painful joint, it increases your chance of having a fall by uh, 53%. You know, two per, if you have two joints, it's around, you know, 78%. So it certainly arthritis is a big factor in, you know, one having a fall. Uh, most people also with arthritis, their muscles are a bit weaker. You know, they're not able to be as active as they want. They, there is stiffness and pain, again, not just with, uh, sorry, tiredness. Uh, is evident also so and people have to adapt in the way they move uh, they have to stand up in a certain way they actually have to walk in a certain way and they cannot maintain a proper posture you know they don't have a good balance and actually that increases their chance of having a fall uh, because of that so this slide i'm saying is it is a vicious cycle this is the fall cycle so somebody would have a fall and they have this fear of pain or of falling again actually in in some cases uh i've seen you know i have worked in the aged care sector for eight years before coming to arthritis new zealand i've seen it where in the fall didn't really do anything to the resident you know but they have this lack of confidence already and they don't really want to mobilize and like you know before they had that fall and they have this reduced Activity, you know, the muscles become weaker, excuse me, therefore increasing your chance of having a fall. So it's really uh, a good cycle and you want to uh, break that, you know, cycle, certainly. So what can we do, you know, uh, to prevent falls? So number one would be uh, exercise, you know, regularly. Uh, uh, one of the better types of exercise you would like to try for post prevention would be uh, tai chi tai chi is actually a chinese martial arts it's actually i know we see it here in the western countries we see it bit you know the the movement is quite low but slow but each movement is actually a defensive and offensive in nature you know in some countries they actually uh, practice Tai Chi as if they're practicing, you know, Karate, uh, Judo, you know, other types of uh, martial arts. Uh, go walking, biking, it's more on the exercise that, you know, you can do, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can still exercise, you know, just make sure it's, you know, it's something you're able to do safely, you know, you're, you're enjoying that exercise you're actually doing so uh, it's it makes it easier certainly uh, I put down green prescription and you know live stronger because those are uh, nationwide uh, programs uh, green pres prescription you know it's available again nationwide you can talk to your GP about that I, I believe you can even self refer yourself you know they do have a, a website so the green prescription is an eight week uh, uh, program it's for people who just want to be more active you know uh, so usually they would you know when you're enrolled you know a person from green prescription would give you a call ask you you know uh, you know what type of exercise you might be able to do you know some of your you know let's say healthy eating habits and then you go to the class each week it's usually you know they try to mix it up each week it's a different type of exercise uh, the first two week, 20 minutes of it, it's from a speaker. They would actually ask, you know, uh, speakers to talk for the first 20 minutes. And we have done it in our organization, come in and uh, talk to those people doing those classes. And then the next 40 minutes is for them to, you know, exercise that group of people. Uh, and they usually, after the eight week course, you know, they, they usually follow you up, you know, uh, within, you know, I think, three months they would still you know try and call you ask how you're doing and a lot of the people in doing uh, green prescription they, they are also health professionals you know physiotherapists you know nutritionists so it's something uh, you can ask them also while you're doing those uh, classes the livestronger.org that and said so i mentioned earlier that in 2018 the team for post prevention was live stronger for longer so acc actually came out with uh, with this website, livestronger.org.nz, they actually, ACC is actually spending 
$30.5 million for four years starting in 2016. So this is the last year just for uh, post prevention alone. And one of these programs is livestronger.org.nz. So you can go to that website, you know, uh, you click, there's our, uh, you can find there's a strength and balance class because you want to have uh, strength exercises is quite good for post prevention. You go there, you can actually click what part of the country you're in. You know, we would have people go to our office in, in Christchurch, and then we'd go to this website, uh, and we'd click Christchurch. You know, in Christchurch being a, a big, you know, city, it's actually divided, you know, you're, are you in the east, west? So, you know, we talk about what suburb, we click uh, Christchurch, we click, let's say you're in the western part, you know, what classes are, are available. And then those classes, they mention the time, the day, you know, uh, they actually mention contact leads and the cost. The cost is actually uh, mentioned there. So what I would, I would usually do, you know, I'd print it out, you know, give them a copy so they, they could, you know, call these people and talk, you know, give it a try. Certainly worth some of the classes you can actually try for, for free in some in instances. So it's worth trying, you know, if it's safe for you to try those cl classes, certainly. I would just give it a good go. Uh, the other one is... Uh, Think safety. So uh, most of the ACC claims for false trips, slips, I think they had one year, they had more than 600. This actually, uh, it, it happened in the home, actually. So we have to declutter our environment, you know, uh, you know, keep cords neatly tied up on the side, you know, uh, proper lighting, uh, non-slip mats, you can put that in, you know, in let's say the shower area, make sure you're wearing the proper uh, uh, footwear, you know. Uh, can't remember the number of times we've had residents have the fall because they forgot to put shoes or it, so they were wearing just uh, socks, can be a bit slippery sometimes. Uh, you can put a uh, arm bar or like uh, support when you're in the, in the loo. So certainly something to, uh, Think about with that again. It's be be more mindful of the hazards in our environment. Or you know, Spider Man has the spidey sense. He he would detect that if there's a danger, he would know. You know, I believe we have that. You know, in us something. There's always something telling us if you're going to do this. Yeah, you you might not want to. You might injure yourself. Let's say you want to move something a bit heavy in the garden and. Uh, there's a chance you might hurt yourself. It's probably a good idea not to do it. You know, have someone help you. Actually, just have someone do it for you. You know, it's yeah. Uh, it wouldn't be the end of the world if you're not able to move. You know that that object. You just need to uh, prioritize. And it's again, it's not worth it injuring yourself by trying to do something that's just you know too much for you. You know, you take your time. Certainly. Uh, I think another thing here is a check with your health providers. So if you have the dizzying spells, let's say painting spells, even the, the first part I mentioned about, you know, going down from the bed, uh, from standing up, then going back down in a bed or a chair, that, that is considered a pole. It's actually uh, a good idea to report that because at least it's, it's there already because the good thing it happened when, you know, just on the, on the bed or in the chair, but what if it happens on the ground, you know? There could certainly be uh, more problems uh, with that. So it's worth mentioning, you know, you could have some, uh, you, they could check you for, let's say your blood pressure, your blood pressure might be okay when you're sitting down, but when you stand up, you know, it might go down and cause, you know, postural hy hypotension and cause you, you know, some dizziness. Uh, you can certainly talk about your meds, you know, of course, uh, they found out that you know if you have cert maybe more more than four medications, you know it increases your chance of having post. Of course, it would it can also depend on the medication you are taking. Let's say sleeping pills might be more of a, a factor. But again, if you need the medication, you need it. So it's just worth asking if you know some of it can be reduced. Uh, go to a physiotherapist so they could show you some you know classes, you know exercise class. Uh, types that you know might be helpful for you uh, it 
you're in the house, you know, you can even talk to an occupational therapist, help you uh, be more, you know, less hazardous, you know, to be uh, staying in your house or even they can even help you how to drive, you know, I mean, fix your, do something with the vehicles or uh, again, quite helpful. Go to a podiatrist if you're having foot problems, you know, it's quite a good idea to go to a podiatrist, certainly to help you. I can't, uh, we wearing the proper shoe is really, really a bit important. I've known cases wherein the pain was caused by, you know, changing uh, one slipper. So it, it can be quite uh, helpful, certainly. So uh, I think, you know, Joanne, do you have something to add? Or it's quite, you know, I want, it's a brief webinar. Or would you guys have some uh, questions? I'll try to uh, answer them. We can welcome questions now. If you just type in the Q&A box, we'll receive your questions and Alan can answer them. We do have a, I think we have an exercise DVD in, available in our website. So you can come in, you know, have a look. You can call our 0800 number. Uh, we, well, we can talk more about, you know, uh, tips on, you know, about your arthritis per se, or even just to talk, you know, we're, with this environment we're having. Certainly, we find that a lot of our calls are just really, you know, talking to uh, to people. You know, maybe less than half is talking about the arthritis condition itself. So, uh, so thank you so much for uh, listening. Again, uh, we try. Uh, please, you know, try and if you have other. Yeah, we do have. So one question is yeah, yeah. I, I think you forgot to mention, but there is the take safety, the part that I mentioned that if you are uh, advised to use a walking stick, a walking frame, uh, gutter frame, please, you know, uh, do it. You know, it doesn't matter. You think you're a bit younger. What would other people think? Uh, it's what's important is your safety. And I, I've seen in cases wherein they were using something and then later on they were uh, they really try to exercise and be as active as they can and they weren't actually, they were going back, you know, from let's say using a, a, a frame or a walking chair, they're just using a stick, then hopefully later on uh, uh, it wouldn't be, you know, they wouldn't be able to do, to do it. Uh, one question here is uh, Pilates, a good form of, yes, it, any, you know, it, just be mindful that the thing here is uh, when you do an exercise, you have to be mindful that if it's not too hard for you. Let's say you do an exercise and it causes you pain that can last, you know, for several hours up to the next day. What you're doing might just be a bit too much for you. One thing you can do is you can uh, not, not even stopping it, maybe tone it down. Yeah, let's say if you do Pilates. I know some people, I know someone actually, she did Pilates for a while and then she felt that it's just a bit hard for her, so she changed up her exercises. But if you're able to, you know, have, do it and really have no problems, or one uh, another thing is when you do classes, you can talk to the instructor that you can say, sorry, I have this uh, arthritis, you know, I might not be able to do all the activities you ask of me. And most instructors, they're, they're quite, you know, happy for that, you know. As long as it keeps you moving, you know, just be mindful that as long as it's safe for you to actually do it. You can talk to your, you know, maybe before trying something, a lot of classes actually request a GP approval. So if your GP is agreeable with that exercise, then I, I think it's, it's fine. So please, again, please, th thank you so much for uh, listening. And again, please feel free to call the uh, 800 number and and you know it's monday to friday uh, each each day it's actually a different educator answer answering your uh your uh call so again thank you so much and and have a good afternoon